Today we're going to learn how to add animations. These will just be basic instructions when you take an advanced class of PowerPoint. I'm sure you'll learn a lot more. So the first thing you need to do is decide what you want to animate. Animate means you're going to make either the text or image come in uh, with motion. And so I'm going to click inside my text box and I'm going to click on the animations tab on the ribbon and if you notice it says none because there are no animations yet. I click on the down arrow and there are many choices. Now you can experiment with this just be sure you always test your show before you give your presentation to make sure that this is what you want. You have animation for how your words or pictures are going to come into the screen. You have just emphasis which means it makes the picture or text a little bit stronger with the motions. You also have exit, how it's going to exit and you have motion paths and you have lots more so you could spend hours doing this. Okay, but we're going to do the basic one. And so again, I have my text box highlighted and I'm going to do the wipe. Okay, so and it gives you an example of how it will be shown on the screen. Now if you notice over here, I've also clicked on the animation pain and it tells you here what you have animated. Again one recommendation is I would not say to animate the title of each of your slides because as you go from slide to slide that's kind of like your note card reminder what you're going to talk about. You don't have to wait to click for it. So if you look at this they have numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's how they're going to come in to the slide. Okay, let's go to the next slide and I want maybe the picture to come on first. So I'm going to click on the picture and maybe I'm going to have a swivel. Okay, now again you have to be careful with these. You want your presentation to be professional. You don't want to wait to, for the picture to finish moving before you start talking. Then I'm going to click on the contact uh, name box here and I'm going to click float in. Okay. Now to check this out, let's click back on the description, come down to our PowerPoint show. And there's my title showing up so I know I'm going to be giving a job description. And as I click, I can talk and I like doing it on click because I control it. If you set it on a timer you may have a question from the audience and it may keep coming, the text may keep coming on so I control it depending on how much I want to say about each idea. Now when you get to the bottom you should rehearse your show so you know when you're clicking for the next slide. There's my transition and now my animation. There's my picture and there's my text, the first one, and then the second name, and the email address. Okay, now if you decide you want the text to come in first, you come over to your animation pane and you highlight what you want. And if you notice you highlight in the animation pane, it highlights the numbers around that item. And just reorder, you click on the green arrow on the bottom, and it moves it. So when I do my show, the names come on first and then the picture. Okay, so those are your basic instructions for adding animation.